Hello chess lovers, Soren here and I have a spectacular attacking game for you played by Martin Corden. Unfortunately the name of his opponent is unknown and the game was played in 1970. Martin Corden started with e4 and e5 by black, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, we see the Italian game, knight f6, black is choosing the two knights defense and d4, white is going for scotch gambit, white castles kingside, knight takes e4, rook e1, d5 and bishop takes d5, of course all this is a theory, white is sacrificing his bishop by capturing on d5 and then using the fact that the knight and the pawn on d4 are pinned is playing knight c3 in order to win back the lost piece, queen a5 and knight takes e4, already white is creating a very dangerous knight f6 threat followed by rook e8 checkmate, that's why black plays bishop e6 covering his king, bishop d2, not the strongest move in the game of Boris Savchenko and Sergei Karyakin, Savchenko played bishop g5, after which Karyakin responded with h6 and the following moves appeared on the board, I will just go quickly through the first moves of the game and then knight f6 check was played and then rook takes e6 and finally with a very beautiful attack Boris Savchenko managed to beat Sergei Karyakin. But now let's go back to our main game after bishop e6 bishop d2 was played, queen f5 bishop g5 white is taking under control the h4 d8 diagonal not allowing black king to castle queenside and bishop b4 well it was better to play first h6 and then if bishop h4 then bishop c5 protect the pawn on d4 square instead after bishop g5 bishop b4 was played and here martin corden captured on d4 sharpening the game knight takes d4 queen takes d4 he's sacrificing the rook on e1 square but black didn't dare to capture on e1 instead played bishop f8 but let's have a look what if for example bishop takes e1 then white can capture on g7 if bishop takes f2 then knight takes f2, if rook f8 then rook e1, if queen g6 then queen e5, though white is an exchange down but white has a dangerous attack and of course on the other hand this continuation could have been better for black but instead after queen takes d4 bishop f8 was played, now comes rook d1 and already white is creating mating threats f6 was played, black is blocking the bishop's path, but it turns out that even this f6 move can't save black king. In this position, Martin Corden unleashed a very dangerous combination, actually there is a mate in 5 and please pause the video and try to find white's next moves. Ready? In this position, Martin Corden played queen d7 check, he's sacrificing the queen in order to lure away the bishop and open up the e-file for white's rook, here comes knight d6 double check, king d8, knight f7 check, king c8 and another sacrifice, this time the rook is coming, rook e8 again in order to lure away the bishop, this time to open up the d file and after bishop takes e8 we see rook d8 checkmate, truly a fantastic final combination I think, look at this mighty knight and the rook mating black king, this is just spectacular. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave your comments and for more games don't forget to subscribe to my channel, good luck!